Bismillah. Welcome back. We're looking at clip 78 on the grade D math watch uh, grade D questions. We're looking at calculating the midpoint and I'll also, also be doing the gradient given two coordinates. So this is the original sheet that we have. So we'll be looking at some of the questions from here. Let's put this to one side. So we're looking at first of all question number one. It's given us our two points A is 2, 5 and our point B is 4 minus 1. So these kind of questions start off with two coordinates. First coordinate A for example, second one is called B. Now we need to know how to work out the midpoint of these two coordinates. We don't need to draw them and draw a line and try to work it out. So this is the technique that we're going to do. So first of all we're going to... Okay, it's okay here, we've got a red pen. So what we're going to do, we're going to label this first one here, X1, and this is Y1. And we're going to label the second one X2 and Y2. Okay, now in order for us to work at the midpoint, we need to, in a sense, work at the average of the X values and average of the Y values. So if you write down midpoint, it's going to be x1 add x2 divided by 2 followed by the midpoint for y which will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and it is literally as simple as these small steps so let's have a go at working it out so my x1 value is 2 I'm going to add to that my x2 value which is 4 and then divided by 2 so we have 2 add 4 that will give you a 6 divided by 2 6 divided by 2 will give us an x coordinate of 3 for the moment. Okay, now we're over here. So we're going to work out y1. y1 is 5. And we're going to add the y2 value. The y2 value is minus 1. Okay, we're going to add the minus 1. And then we're going to divide it by 2. Okay, a lot of students get confused when they see a 5 add minus 1. 5 add minus 1 has the same effect of 5 minus 1. That's the effect of those two signs together. So 5 take away 1 will give us a total of 4. And we divide that by 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. And here is our midpoint. So we have finished that question. And we have worked out the midpoint of 2, 5 and 4 minus 1. Which gives us an answer of 3, 2. So I'm left with that my midpoint. Thank you very much for joining us on this question. Please come back to another uh, video where we'll be looking at how to work out the gradient from the same two points. Thank you.